let's get into the bold predictions yeah. real quick. That was one of my bold predictions is that I believe RJ Barrett is going to lead the team in assists this year. Yeah. I think so. Between what we're hearing now with ISO B moves into the lineup and also the fact that we're seeing, you're going to see RJ playing the one in spurts. We saw that in the preseason. I think that's going to be a trend that's going to continue. We saw it in summer league. We saw it in preseason. I don't see why it wouldn't, you know, push into the season. I don't think they're not going to, I don't think they're going to give him the full-time responsibility because mm-hmm. I still feel like they he, he needs to kind of master his own position first before he moves to running the whole team. But I think he'll have a lot of responsibility as a, as the playmaker on the team. And for that, I think he's going to lead the team in assists. That's my one bold prediction. That's a bold one because I think DSJ average, what, five? And DSJ, then- I'll pull it up for you right now because you made the graphic. It's a good job, and- man. It's a nice graphic. Uh, and- DSJ averaged five last year. And then... I think uh, Peyton averaged six point something. Peyton so, averaged seven point six. Seven point six. Mm. Seven point six. That's gonna be so. It really depends on the minutes. Minutes, and yeah. It's really gonna depend on minutes. What the coach is seeing. If um, is 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 if the Knicks are out of it, especially and at the halfway mark, I don't see Peyton doing seven point six. No. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, could be DSJ. Could be, yeah, could be DSJ. Yeah, could be we'll RJ. See. We'll see, we'll what, see man. We'll see what, what do you got? What do you guys think of the chat of that bold prediction? RJ leading the team in assists. Uh, my second one, Jay Ellis. Maybe not as bold as some, but I do think uh, Randall will make the all-star team as as a reserve. Maybe one of the last reserves, but I think Randall will make it. He averaged mm-hmm. uh, about 21-9 and nine last year. I'm going to say he hovers around the same. I'll, I'll up it a little bit. I think he goes, say, around 23. Say 23-8. Mm-hmm. and eight. Okay. And, 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 and those same four dimes. I, I think he'll get there. Julius Randall will be leading the New York Knicks into Chicago. All right, all right. No, number two. What do you think about that one? I mean, that's pretty. I think that's pretty safe. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. Not as like, bold. Uh, yeah. It's not as bold. It's, it's, it's there. It's like, it, like we said before, it all kind of depends on what we're doing. If we're winning, the more mm-hmm. we win, the better he looks. And the more likely he'll be able to get that nod. Like, what real power forwards are here for real, for real? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, there's a lot of open space and runway for that. Like Kevin Love is out there with the Cavs. Are you expecting them to come out there and do something? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I <laughs> it don't. might be open role for Julius Randle to do. That's to what do I'm saying. Some That's things. what I'm saying. Especially, especially since he's gotten better every season. That's so. right. And you got you got Horford on the Sixers now sharing with Embiid. You know who? You know his numbers might go down a little bit. Obviously, mm-hmm. he's another year older, another another year under under his belt as as a veteran. So his numbers may go down having to share the court with Embiid. So, uh, the, you know, the East is wide open. I don't see why Randall couldn't. As I said, I think if we're hovering around 500, a little over 500 by the All-Star break, I think he can make it. But if we're completely in the, in, in the mud, maybe not. Mm-hmm. Maybe not. No, that makes sense. Yeah. That's yeah. Sense. And my last one, I'm going with um, a trade. Mm. I'm going with the trade. I think um, three guys get dealt by the deadline. I think it's going to be Marcus Mars. Okay. I think they're going to trade Ellington to make room for Bullock. Yeah, I can see that. And, and I think Dotson. I think Dotson's a goner, man. Ah! Sorry, sorry man. <laughs> I, think, I think Morris, Ellington, back, and Dotson, <laughs> maybe not in one trade, maybe not in a package, but I, I think those three get paired off. I, th- I think those three get paired uh. off. I don't, know, I don't know where. I think Morris would end up somewhere in the West on a, on a, you know, a, a team making a push. Maybe Denver, maybe Portland. Yeah. You know, I can see him on Portland. I could definitely see him on the Blazers. I g- with, with Dame and CJ. I could, I could see them, man. Yeah, to me, like, to me, no matter what happens, the shooting guard is being traded. Like, yeah. I know that for sure. Like, mm-hmm. win or lose, <laughs> a shooting guard is being traded because somebody got to go. Mm-hmm. Like, there's too many of those over here. But I can definitely see Marcus Morris getting traded if, if we're not in the, in the hunt. Um you hope that we're somewhere all magical and we are in the hunt. I know everybody's predicting thirty around thirty wins, so am I. But you know, you hope for a miracle, and then yeah, Mark Moore stays and see what happens. But I'm I'm sad, man. I don't want Dot to go, but I can definitely see it happening, man. 
Yeah, I, that that I can see happening, and it makes sense. You know, if we're not contending for anything by that time, or if we're not playing for anything by that time, try to get an asset, man. Go ahead. Wow. Yeah, he, he's gonna be one of my favorite on the team for sure. He already, he already is, but you know, we get we gotta you know put business ahead of uh, of sentiments. Yeah. And he's the only Nick that follows me on Instagram. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, dope. That's dope, man. I didn't even know that. Yeah, Dotson follows your Instagram. You oh, that, oh, that's I thought you said Marcus Morris. Yeah, no. Oh, Dot, not Marcus Morris, Dotson, Dotson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, we knew Dot was a friend of the program from the beginning. Yeah, Dot's oh. been a friend of the program from from the beginning. Oh man. Um. So I, Bar- Berman just hit me up. He said his flight got a little bit delayed. He's he's still trying to uh, make it on. So just stay tuned. Maybe on a little bit later. Uh, JL, okay. so let's get to your three bold takes, and then we're gonna get All back right. to the phones. We'll get back to the phones. Um. I see Max. I see Ron. CP the artist. We're gonna get to you guys in a minute. JL, your three bold predictions. Keep in mind, I wrote this Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just let you know how ahead of the curb I was. <laughs> So my first prediction was Isa will be out Elton as a backup. That was my first prediction. I wrote this Sunday. Keep that in mind. This is before all the news. <laughs> Jay Ellis Stradamus, people. This is yes, Jay Ellis Stradamus. And, and I'll have you know, CP. Last year, I predicted that Frank would start in small forward. Wow, good stuff, man. Good stuff. I'm just, letting, just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> 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 Ass on record. You can go on my Nick, Nick, the Nick of Time Show that. Com. You can go to soundcloud.com slash Nick Time Show and check the episodes from last year. And I'll there definitely put that on there. Yes, sir. Boom. All Good right. Stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. Iso, as we said, he's been balling when he was sitting down. Even when he was sitting, he was sitting down. And when he came in the game, you saw what he did. He couldn't be ignored. He put his stamp in the game every time he's been injected in the game. And he's more versatile than any shooting guard that we have on a roster not named Andre Barrett right now. So, it's kind of ridiculous to ignore him and not play him at all. So I just I just didn't see the coach just like, nah, we're going to have him on the bench bench behind Wayne Ellington. I don't care how good Wayne Ellington shoots threes. I still can shoot threes too. And he can do a lot more, as you can see from that little whoop de doo movie just did just there. Like, even if he's not shooting a three, he can ISO and create for himself. And no one else on his team can really do that, except for maybe RJ and possibly DSJ. <laughs> Yeah, fair. Uh, hey, that's fair enough. Fair enough. I, I definitely think he he can beat that Ellington. Ultimately, ultimately, it's gonna come down to Ellington making his shots. Yeah. If, if he proves if he if he's not here to do his job, then I think uh, th- there'll be a quick trigger, a, a quick uh, pull on him. No, no doubt about it. That's a fact. That's a fact. Number two, I know my guy's injured right now, but. Bold statement: Mitchell Robinson is gonna lead the league in blocks. Bold. Ooh, okay. Bold. Okay. Same Who was it bold. last year? Was it Gobert? Was it uh, my guy from the Pacers? What did you le- say? Was the question? Who led the league in blocks last year? Was it Gobert or um, what's the guy's name from the Pacers? Um, I think it was Gobert, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I think it was Gobert. Like even in preseason, he was still kind of up there in blocks with his limited minutes, and. I feel like when he gets his feet under him and he gets his wind back and his ankle is is ready. Oh, Miles Turner, somebody, somebody Miles Turner, around. Miles Turner led the league. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's what that's it. Miles Turner is who I'm thinking about. I really just feel like it has to do with him being healthy. Like if, if Mitchell Robinson is healthy, I think he will lead the league in blocks. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. So that's our guy Mitch, friend of the program. You know what I mean, Mitch? Please. Yeah. And my last bold statement, going out bold, bold, bold. Mm-hmm. Julius Randle is the leader as of now, but by the end of the season, I think RJ will be known as. You know what? That guy could be the face of the Knicks too. Like that guy might be the leader. Like I think mm. RJ will be emerged as the leader by the time the end of the season comes along. Interesting. Interesting. So you think it'll be RJ's team by the end of the season? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It, it might not be said out loud like that, but it's going to be kind of like, you know, it's going to be known. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be known. Like, you're going to start to see, oh, you have the ball a little bit at the end. Of yeah. The game. You know what I'm saying? You make a little bit of decisions when the game. Like, I feel like some stuff is like that is going to happen when it comes to the end of the year. Okay. All right, not bad. Not bad at all, man. What do you, what do you guys think of the chat? Uh, uh, JL's just top three predictions. What do, you, what do you guys think about that? Well, let us know in the chat. 
And uh, and we will shout you guys out. Shout out to all people. Hashtag new. 